Hello everyone, my name is Lordron25 and today I have something really special for you. This is my version of automated AFK mining machine. It is a very different version of mining machine. It uses you, a player, as the main tunnel boring machine. This has caused me a lot of problems, but at the end it works. So let me just quickly show you how does it work. The only real disadvantage of this machine is that it needs an area without any caves or lava lakes. But the best thing is that it is actually infinitely expandable. Over here you have to walk on top of this tripwire. This will cause a flying machine to come from the other side and pick you up. You now have to put something heavy on your WB key and on your left mouse button. And you have to face yourself towards 031.2. And then a flying machine will come and push you on top of the another flying machine. And this flying machine caused me a lot of problems because it has to move a player which is trying to move in an opposite direction. Once you come to the other side there is another flying machine which will push you into this tunnel selector. So basically we have stone slabs here which will prevent going into a tunnel and where whenever there is a stone slab that it has not been pushed up yet, player will go and start digging in this tunnel. Then the player will start mining to the other side. It will take some time, but the slime block flying machine will be there sooner. When the player will mine out of the tunnel, he will trigger this tripwire again and the whole process will repeat. I know that the redstone is not quite compact and that this is just a prototype, but I wanted to make sure that this thing actually works. And it is. In one hour I got 60 redstone ores, 3 diamond ores, 6 emerald ores, 26 iron ores and 2 lapis ores which I would consider to be quite good, considering that it is mining at only half the speed than normal mining. Because this slime block flying machine that takes player back is quite complicated, I needed the help of the Prototech members, and they have helped me to design a module that would actually work. So, thank you so much for that. There will be also a world download available in description if anyone wants to check this world out in a greater detail and that is all I got time for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.